Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We are rejoicing and we're glad therein. Uh, we're so grateful, so thankful for yet another opportunity to be able to come together as the people of God, as the family of God, and be able to talk to our Abba, to be able to talk to our Daddy. Uh, we know uh, that we have not received the spirit of bondage uh, where we ought to be afraid and be fearful of him, as Paul said in Romans 8 and 15. Uh, but no, he says we receive the spirit of adoption, whereby we can cry, Abba, Abba, Father. Well, we can cry, Daddy. It's a term of endearment. It's a term of relationship. It's a term that signifies um, the closeness and the bond and the, and the trust and the confidence uh, that one has in in the in their father in their daddy and so we're grateful for that we're grateful that he loves us we're grateful that he looks out for us we're grateful that he longs to talk to us uh, we're grateful because he is our everything so in fact father we thank you we give you all the praise all the glory and all of the honor we thank you for this is the day that you made the day that we made up in our minds to rejoice and to be glad therein we're so thankful for life and we're so thankful for health and strength and the use and activity of our limbs. We thank you, God, for all that you've done and we thank you for all that you're going to do. You are truly our source and our strength. You're the very strength of our lives. Um, we thank you, God, because uh, it is because of your grace and your mercy and your love and your compassion, uh, God, that we've been able to see this day, experience this day. And God, we're going to be able to be impactful in this day. For that, we tell you, thank you. Uh, we talk like Jeremiah always, God. We talk like Jeremiah. We pray that we'll never uh, forget Lamentations chapter 3 that says, For this I recall to my mind, therefore have I hope. It is of your mercy that we have not been consumed because your compassion um, it fails not, but it is renewed towards us every single morning. Great is thy faithfulness. You are a faithful God. It, it makes no sense to say, uh, but we say it anyway, that you uh, have been better to us than we've been to ourselves. I, I say that it makes no sense because we're talking about you. We're talking about the all-faithful one, the all-knowing one, the all-powerful one, the all-consistent one, the all-loving one. We thank you. Uh, because we're talking about you and we don't even need to try to compare our our consistency and our faithfulness and our love and our drive and our zeal. Now, we should never even compare that to yours, but we'll say it anyway uh, because it means so much that you've been better to us than we can ever be to ourselves. Thank you uh, for being the God of all flesh um, and being yet so consistent. Thank you. Uh, for being God all by yourself and besides you, there being none other. Thank you uh, for being the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Thank you for you being our source and our strength and being the very strength of our lives. We give your name the glory. We give your name the honor and we give your name the praise. Thank you for all that you've done and all that you're going to do. We, we call on your name this morning. We, we bless your name this morning. We, we come before your presence with, with thanksgiving. We, we bless your name, God, because you are worthy of the praise and you're worthy of the glory and you're worthy of all of the honor. We thank you, God, because because you have been so faithful and you've been so good and you've been so consistent. We, we thank you because when we, when we want to be discouraged, you don't let us be discouraged. When we want to quit, you won't let us quit. When we want to throw in a towel, we cannot throw in a towel because you just that good to us. We thank you, God, for whenever it is, God, we desire to allow our circumstances uh, to get the best of us. You, we, we can't, you, you won't allow us because you, you continue to keep on, keep on showing up. You continue to keep on moving in a real and a fresh way. And for that, we tell you, thank you. Uh, we got situations, we have issues, we have problems, we have afflictions. Uh, but yet, God, when we think about um, who you are and we think about what it is that, that you've done and what it is that you are doing, uh, all those circumstances and dilemmas and setbacks and letdowns don't mean anything, uh, God, because you are God over our circumstance. We thank you, God, for giving us all, God, a hunger 
and a drive and a thirst, God, to be able to be in your presence. And I pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, if, if someone right now is feeling overwhelmed, if someone right now is feeling the pressure, if someone right now is, is feeling the, 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 the pressure of life, God, situations of life, God, I pray, God, that you'll put down on the inside of them, God, a desire to spend time with you. I, I, I challenge individuals, God, that, that is always being, uh, always uh, being overwhelmed by life and, and always being overwhelmed by their trouble and always being overwhelmed by their circumstances. There, there are times that, that there's things that happen to us that are absolutely overwhelming. There are times that where there, there's things that happen to us that knock the wind out of us. There are, there are things that rock our world. I'm not, I'm not saying that they're not, I'm not saying there's not times of, of that, that, cha that are, that are challenge and things that go on that, that happen that, that kind of knock the wind out of us. But, but, but every situation should knock the wind out of us. Every situation shouldn't get us questioning our salvation. Every situation shouldn't get us to the place to where we're questioning whether you love us or not. Every situation shouldn't get us to the place, God, to where we're, we're, we're contemplating God, just, just, just walking away from everything. And when, when, when there's, when I, when I run across those individuals and when I'm having those conversations again and again and again, God, I, 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 I challenge the believer, God, on their, 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 on their spending time with you. I, I challenge them, God, on their, on their prayer time. I challenge them, God, on their, on their quiet time. I challenge Challenge them, God. When when's the last time you 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 habitually spent time with God? When was the last time you've been in God's presence? And and people get offended by those types of questions because it's like, don't be questioning my salvation. Don't be questioning how much I spend time with my Jesus. But God, either your word is true or not, God. The way you said that that whenever it is that we talk to you, whenever it is we come into your presence, God, you said, God, that we can cast all of our cares to you. A lot of times we're quick to talk to a man. A, a lot of times. We're quick to talk to an individual, and a lot of times, God, we're quick to God to talk to someone, uh, a friend, a prayer partner, a pastor, uh, and God, we hadn't talked to you. But God, I pray that everyone on the sound of my voice, God, whenever it is that we that we that we face circumstances, whenever it is, God, we're going through something. I pray that the first thing we do, God, is spend time with you. The first thing that we do, God, is we get in your face. The first thing that we do is God, we 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 saturate ourselves in your presence, God, because you told us in your word that in your presence there's fullness of joy there's no way in the world i can perpetually be depressed i don't care what the what the i don't care what the clinical definition of anything is your word says that in your presence there's fullness of joy that there's no way in the world i can be perpetually be depressed and i'm spending time in your presence your word says god that in your presence that, that, that there's righteousness there's peace and there's joy there's no way in the world i can have a disturbing mind and disturbing heart perpetually and God, if I stay in your presence, it, it can't happen, God, because that's what your words say. In Numbers 23, 19 says that God is not a man that he shall lie, neither the son of man that he has to repent. Titus 1, 2 says by two immutable things, it's impossible for God to lie. Hebrews 6, 18 says God cannot lie. My Bible tells me that you cannot lie, so it's impossible for us to be in your presence and not experience fullness of joy. It's impossible for us to be in your presence and not experience your peace. So right now, in the name of Jesus, for the individuals that's scratching their head, for the individuals that's overwhelmed by family situations, the individuals that's overwhelmed by, by marital situations, the individuals that's, that's overwhelmed just with life, I pray, God, that you'll put down on the inside of us, God, a homing device, God, that where we won't be satisfied until we come into your presence. God, I pray, God, that you'll put a homing device down in our spirit, God, that causes us to chase after you, that causes us to pursue you, that before we pick up 904 234 Six, five. I pray, God, that we'll pick up J-E-S-U-S, -S, God, before we pick up our phone, God, to call or to text somebody. God, we'll, we'll call and text you. Like Grandma say, Jesus is on the main line, and we ought to tell him what we want. God, I pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, that we'll, we'll talk to you and pursue you. Uh, oftentimes, God, we'll, 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 we'll complain to people, and we'll, we'll gossip to people, and we'll tell people all about what this happened and how that happened, and then, God, we don't, we don't 
honestly and sincerely talk to you. And God, I pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, that, that, that we will we will come before your presence, God, because you told us that we ought to cast all our cares to you, God, because you care for us when it's too heavy for us, when it's too much for us. God, you promise to be our burden bearer when it's too much for us, when it's too heavy for us. God, you promise us that you'll be our heavy load sharer when we can't take it anymore. God, you told us we can come to you. So right now in the name of Jesus, I pray, God, that your people will be pushed in your presence. That's the power of worship. That's why we worship you, God. That's why we sing songs of Zion. That's why we sing songs as unto the Lord. That's why we don't sing about our problems and sing about our trouble and sing about the mountains that we can't climb and we don't sing about, oh, sometimes up, sometimes down, sometimes level to the ground. That's why we don't sing songs about we're going up the rough side of the mountain and all that. Oh, no, God, we sing vertical songs. We sing vertical worship. We sing songs of Zion, God, that remind us of your splendor, that remind us of your majesty, that remind us of your might, that remind us, God, that you can do all things, God. Oh, that, that remind us, God, that you are, that you are, that you are King of kings and Lord of lords. And that's why we worship you. We worship you, God, and we spend time in your presence, God, because the more that we're in your presence, the more insignificant our problems are. The more we're in your presence, God, the more, the more, the more futile our, our problems are. The more that we're in your presence, the more, God, it, it seems like we're, we're trying to figure out what in the world was I worried about? What in the world was I crying about? What in the world was I all upset about? And God, when we're in your presence, God, our trouble, they're still there. Our problems, they're still there. Our issues in our body, they're still there. Our financial struggles are still there. We're still dealing with what it is that we need to deal with, but yet and still, God, whenever it is that we're in your presence, God, you, we, we, that's why we lift you up and we we magnify you. Now, that, that word in the original means to, to make you bigger. And God, we, we can't make you bigger. We can't exaggerate you, but God, we can't make you bigger, but God, we can have bigger faith. We, we can look at you in a way, God, that we didn't look at you before. We can really trust you like we never trust you before. We can really uh, put our hope in you like we never hoped, hoped in you before. We, we can believe in you, God, like we never believed before, God. We want to make you bigger. That's the significance of prayer. That's the significance of worship. That's the significance of diving in your word. Oh, God, because the more that we in your word and the more that we in your presence, God, the bigger that you are. And God, I pray right now in the name of Jesus for every person, God, under the sound of my voice that is just overwhelmed, God, with their circumstances, just overwhelmed with life and don't know what to do, can't put one foot in front of the other, don't know where to turn, don't know where to go, don't know what's going to happen. And God, we're, 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 we're wrapped, we're, 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 anxiety has us and fear has us and, and trepidation has us, God, and we, and we just don't know what to do and how to do it. I pray right now in the name of Jesus, we make you bigger. I pray in the name of Jesus, God, that we'll lift you up. I pray right Right now, in the name of Jesus, God, that we'll put you in your proper place even the more. Oh, the word of the Lord says in Isaiah 6 and 1, in the year that King Uzzah died, Isaiah said, I saw also the Lord. He was high and he was lifted up. I pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, that we'll let our King Uzziah die. We'll let our uh, uh, Isaiah uh, admire Uzziah. Uh, uh, Uzziah was, a, was, a, was one of the greatest kings of Israel. He built a lot of things. He, he allowed them to have peace. He allowed them to have prosperity. Uh, he rule with great power. And, 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 and many theologians suggest that Isaiah and Isaiah, they, they, were, they were very, very close, but yet and still Isaiah uh, got in trouble in the latter times of his life and they died of leprosy for doing something they had no business doing. Oh, but God, maybe, just maybe there's an Isaiah in our way. Maybe, just maybe, God, on one side of the coin, there's somebody in our life that we just admire and somebody that we just look up to and somebody or, or something that we're just pursuing and something that we're chasing. Maybe our Isaiah is a job, or, or maybe it's a home, or maybe it's a car. Maybe, maybe, God, you've given us something, God. We prayed for that home, and you gave us that home, and now that home has become an idol to us. We pray for a vehicle, God, and we, you've given us that vehicle, and it's become an idol. We, we pray for a job, and we pray for the degree, and God, we finally landed it, and now that thing has gotten in our heart, God, the way it's, it's replaced you. Maybe we pray for a child, and now that child is taking your place. We spend more time with the child, and we, we, we covet that child and we just lift up that grandchild and we just we put everything and everybody before you i don't know what what our uzziah is god i, I pray right now in the name of jesus for whatever that 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 proof positive thing is whatever that thing is that's positive whatever that thing is that we've been looking for longing for god and we got it or we or we we can see it or god we we admire it from afar we pray god right now in the name of jesus god 
the way it will, the way our focus, God, will be reallocated. You don't got to take it from us, God, like you did Abraham and, and Isaac. You did not take Isaac away from Abraham. Oh, but no, you did test Abraham the way he can be able, he'll be able to, he will know. You already knew what was in him, but he will know what it is, God, that was on the inside of him. You didn't take his blessing. You promised him the blessing. You gave him the blessing, but you want to see where, where he was at when it came down to his obedience and his trust, when it came down to the blessing. Did he love his blessing more than the blessor? Did he love his son more than he loved his father? Did he love what it is that you gave him than the one that gave it to him? And God, sometimes God, we, you, we got to come to the fork in the road. Sometimes we just got to say it is what it is and call a spade a spade. Sometimes God, we, 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 we put the blessing over you. Sometimes God, we put our things and our stuff and our people over you. And God, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that we'll allow those things to get in their proper place. We, we, you, you don't got to take them from us. God, we, 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 you know, we, we got to lose it. That's not the prayer that I'm praying. I'm not praying that we lose it. I'm not praying that you take it from us. I'm praying, God, that we'll put it in its proper place, God. I'm praying, God, that we will reprioritize our lives. I pray, God, that we will humble ourselves and do what we need to do to reprioritize our lives and not allow you to have to do it because if you do it, then it will be humiliation. If you do it, then God, it may be a little thing, God, where it's going to be a setback. It's going to be a letdown. But right now in the name of Jesus, God, we, we voluntarily allow that, that thing or that person or that circumstance to take his rightful place, God. Right now in the name of Jesus. And maybe, just maybe, God, this relationship and these people, oh God, or this circumstance, or this thing that we're looking for, or they're looking at, or this thing that we're walking in, or this manifestation that we have, maybe, just maybe, God, we've allowed it to get into a place, God, that it should not be. Oh, but we pray right now in the name of Jesus, even the other side of the coin, when it came down to Isaiah, because again, he did something that caused, that caused him to, to, catch, to get leprosy and, and to ultimately die. He did something. He stepped outside of the plan. He stepped outside the wheel. He was supposed to be the king and he wanted to go in and offer incense. He had like he was a priest and he thought he was above the law and because of that he got struck with leprosy and because of that he eventually died and God maybe just maybe there's somebody in our life God that we've seen something in them God. We, we've seen something and they maybe they disappointed us. Maybe they let us down. Maybe they hurt us. Maybe they offended us. Maybe just maybe it was a spouse or maybe it was a child or maybe it was a spiritual leader or maybe a, maybe we were fired wrongfully from a job. Maybe it was, I don't know, God. Maybe it's, it's something in our, and that's in our eyes. Oh, God, that, that disappointed us, that let us down. And because of that, that's caused us, God, not to, not to come to you. Because of that, that's caused us, God, not to speak, not to seek you. Because of that, God, because of, we're, because of the offense and because of the hurt, because of the letdown, because of disappointment, it's difficult for us, God, to come to you. Oh, but right now, in the name of Jesus, I come all the way back to what the verse says in the year that King Uzziah died. And God, right now in the name of Jesus, of course, we're not asking or looking for someone to die physically. Oh, but no, God, I, we're, we're looking for something to, to, to cease to exist and with that same type of power, that same type of control, that same type of manipulation over our lives. We want it to die right now in the name of Jesus. And God, we want to be able to see your glory. We want to see your magnification. That's why we got to worship you. That's why we got to get into your word, God, because we got to see you for who you are. That's why God, we got to spend time with you uh, because if we spend more time with you, we won't complain as much. If we spend more time with you, we won't we won't murmur and, and fuss as much, God. We won't grumble about circumstances. Help us, God, to let the king die. Help us, God, to let whatever that thing is, whether it's good, bad or ugly, we pray, God, that it'll take its rightful place, God, and we'll be able to glorify you. We'll be able to magnify you. We'll be able to trust you, God, in every situation and every circumstance. We give your name to glory for now. Oh God, because when Isaiah saw Isaiah, he was able to see where you really were, God. You were high and you were lifted up, God, and your train filled the temple. And that's what we're looking for and longing for. We desire your presence. We desire, God, your power, your anointing, God, to, to fill the temple, God, to fill our homes, to fill our mind. Oh, we speak that right now in the name of Jesus. Fill us up. Oh, come on, prayer warriors. You ought to pray that prayer. Fill me up, Lord. Fill me to the full. Come on, you ought to pray that. Fill my home 
home with your presence. Fill my marriage with your presence. Fill, God, my, 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 my mind with your presence. I, I, we want your presence, God, to fill us to the full, God. And we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. When you fill us up, there's no room for doubt and apprehension. When you fill us up, there's no room, God, for fear. When you fill us up, God, there's no room for, for murmuring and complaining and, and, and fussing and cussing. Oh, no, nah, no, 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 God, because you fill us up. We thank you for it in the name of Jesus. And God, we just don't want you to fill us up. Oh, God, we're not going to be selfish. We want you to fill us up, God, till we overflow. And God, just like that little teacup that's sitting on the table, oh, they, got, they get filled to the brim and then get too filled up. Oh, it doesn't just fill up the cup, but it, fill, it overflows on the saucer. It overflows on the table and on the floor. And God, right now in the name of Jesus, when you fill us up, we desire, God, for you, God, the, 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 the everything that's touching us and everything that's connected to us, God, they'll get saturated. Oh, God, just because we're, 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 they're connected to us, they'll get filled up, God, just because they're, they're connected to us. We thank you for it in the name of Jesus. We want to be like you, Jesus. That when Matthew and Luke, uh, Matthew 4 and 1 and Luke 4 and 1 says that you were full of Holy Spirit and you were, and you were led, but wherever you need to be led, you were full. You were, you were totally, you were totally saturated. You were, you were totally permeated with the Spirit of God. And that's what our prayer is that we're so full of you. We're so full of your power. We're so full of your anointing. We're so full of your grace, God, that we don't got time to doubt and got time to, 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 unbe to be walking in unbelief, God. But no, we're full and we're obedient and we're chasing after you and we're going after your word, your will, and your way. We thank you, God. Oh, because we know that you're able to do it. We pray right now in the name of Jesus for our and our, for our particular target prayer, our particular prayer focus this morning. God, we are we are praying that as a local church, the truth and love will continue oh to be a salt mine. That's our prayer, God, that we will continue to be a salt mine in this community, adding the very flavor of God to everyday life of the surrounding community. That's our prayer today, God. Our prayer is that we'll continue to be a salt mine. Our prayer is, God, that we will be able to add the very flavor of God to everyday life of this community. We pray, God, as we live in a society, as we live in a world that's lost their taste for God, they've lost their flavor for God. God, we, we can't go a day without seeing the murders and seeing the, 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 the raping and seeing the mass shootings and seeing the abductions and seeing the drive-by shootings. Uh, uh, it just rips our heart out, God, to hear about the drive-by shootings that kill these young men and, and hear about these mass shootings that kill all these innocent people. God, uh, we, 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 it rips our heart, but we live in a society, we live in a world, God, that don't, does, that does not fear you, that does not acknowledge you, that does not look to you. And right now, in the name of Jesus, we pray, God, that you'll give us the grace that we need, God, that we're, we're not salted because of life. We're not salted because of our own circumstances. First and foremost, God, in order for us to be salt and light to the world, we pray, God, that we, that we won't be salty, God, because of our circumstances and the things that we go through. We pray, God, God, that right now, in the name of Jesus, that we won't be so consumed with our lives and so consumed with our trouble and so consumed about what she said and so consumed about what he did and so consumed about what we don't have and so consumed about what it is that we, that, that we got, we going through too, that God, we won't, we won't, we won't be activated in the things of you. But I pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, the way you allow us, God, to be able to, to handle our situations and our own problems and went in a way that they don't cause us to be be salty. But I pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, that you will give us what it is that we need. Oh God, that where we can be so we can be salty in a way. God, the way you 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 called us, God, to add the flavor of God to someone else. God, the way we're so sure up in our walk with you. We're so sure up in our confidence with you that God we're able to encourage somebody else. At times, God, it's hard for us to encourage somebody when we need encouraging. It's hard for us to get out of our own way. It's hard for us, God, to be able to pull ourselves up. We need encouragement. We need a word. But I pray right now in the name of Jesus that we'll be able to flow even while we're hurting. We'll be able to worship even when we're wounded. We'll be able, God, to lift up other people even when we're going through some things. And we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. We want to be salty, God. We want to be salty in the way the way that salt was used to preserve uh, back in biblical time. It was used to preserve their meat and preserve, God, things that were the way they didn't have the refrigeration system that we have. And God, we pray right 
right now in the name of Jesus, we'll be salted. We pray, God, that we'll be able to preserve, God, our communities. And what do I mean by preserve, God? I mean by preservation. I mean, God, that, 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 that apart from you, if, 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 if we're extracted from our community, if we're removed from our neighborhood, if we're removed from where we live and where we dwell, God, the neighborhood, the community will be destroyed. Oh, God, but because we're there and, God, we're interceding, because we're there and we're praying, because we're there, God, and we're letting our light so shine, God, we'll, we won't know till we get to heaven about the things that our community was able to avoid because we were there and because of the things that we prayed for. We pray, God, that we'll be able to preserve it and bring about preservation even on our job. That, God, the company not going under, God, because we're there. The company not going out of business, God, because we're there. And, God, you're able to preserve and you're able to keep and you're able to insulate, God, because we're there. And we give your name the glory for it now. We give your name the honor, God, because you're that kind of God. We give your name the glory, God, not just in a in a sense when it comes to our neighborhoods and when it comes to our job and even with our family. Oh, God, you're preserving our family. We, we, we want to be the righteous one, God. We don't mind being the patriarch. We don't mind being the matriarch of our families. Oh, God, the way we're the ones that's praying and we're the ones that's standing in the gap and we're the ones, God, that's lifting up the bloodstained banner. We'll take that responsibility. And, God, we know, God, that the enemy won't see a desire on our families, God, because we're the ones, God, that's, that's adding the flavor of God. We're the ones that's being salty. And, God, we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. Not only was salt used to preserve, but also salt was used, oh, to set things on fire. Yes, sir, God, we pray, God, that we will be, we'll add the salt of God. We'll add the flavor of God setting in it and everybody on fire. But in order for us to set some things on fire, we got to be on fire. So I pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, that you'll light our fire. Oh, God, I pray in the name of Jesus, you'll give us what we need, God, that we'll, we'll be like Jeremiah. We can't shut up. We can't stop. We cannot forbear. Oh, for it'll be like fire shut up in our bones. And we pray in the name of Jesus that we'll be so in, so intentional and we'll be so on fire. Oh, God, that we're, we're desiring to glorify you and magnify you in every, in every area, God. Thank you for the fire of the Lord. Thank you for the passion of the Lord. Thank you for the zeal of the Lord, God, that's causing us to do and to be who it is you call us to be. We give your name the glory for it now. We give your name the honor for it now. We give your name the praise. We pray right now in the name of Jesus for every person, God, that's going through in their body. We pray for every person, God, that's dealing with situations and, and dealing with ups and downs in their body. We thank you, God, because you're Jehovah Rapha. We thank you, God, because you're the God that's able to heal. You're the God that's able to deliver. You're the God that's able to set free. We pray, God, for, for Miss, for, we pray for Miss Rain's daughter. We pray for Dorian right now in the name of Jesus. Dora, that you'll touch her right now in the name of Jesus. We pray, God, that you will touch her from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. You know what she's experiencing and you know what she's going through. God, I pray, God, that you will heal her right now in the name of Jesus from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. We pray for Sister Rains, God, that doing what she needs to do as a mother, God, and being there for her daughter and, and helping and assisting God, her daughter. We pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, that you'll just do what you do, God, according to your plan and your purpose, God. We pray for Sister Lou little John, God, that, that that's dealing with situations in her body, God, and we pray, God, that you will heal her and, and, and strengthen her and deliver her, God, and, and not just the current situation, God, but also what, what's happened with her, what, what she, she's just recently, her husband just transitioned. We ask you, God, the way you will wrap your arms around and you will heal her and you'll deliver her. I, I thank you, God, for, the, for these individuals, God, and that, there's, a, there's a bunch of them and there, I'm sure there's more and I'm sure there's more requests and I'm sure there's this, this, this is going on and that's going on but it was, these are the individuals that you're dropping in my spirit at this time and we lift them up and we pray for them right now in the name of Jesus we pray oh God for them we pray that you will be able to do what, what only you can do, God, even as as, as, as Sister Mimi and, and Mama Graves as they're traveling. I, I believe they're up in the air even as we speak. We pray for traveling grace and traveling mercy as they head to Ohio, as Mimi goes to, to say, see you later to her father. I pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, the way you'll be with them. I pray, God, that you'll touch them and you, I pray, God, that you'll just do what only you can in those services. I pray, God, that you'll bring about grace 
grace and your grace and your power and your anointing God in, in, in everything that's going on when it comes down to the transition of our Father. We pray for comfort and we pray for strength and we pray for your anointing and your power right now in the name of Jesus. We give your name the glory, oh God, for healing our bodies and touching us from the crown of our head to the sole of a, for soles of our feet. Every person that got any kind of pain or any kind of ailment or any kind of whatever's going on, we thank you for healing. We thank you, God, for bringing about healing and deliverance, God, as only you can. We thank you, God, because you have kept us, God, and you are keeping us. You have healed us, God, and you are healing us. And we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. We thank you for our marriages and we thank you for our singles, God, the way you're keeping us, God, whatever our relationship status is. We thank you for keeping us and we thank you for preserving us and we thank you, God, the way we're able, God, to glorify you and magnify you and whatever our relationship is. We thank you for kingdom marriages. We thank you for forgiveness and love and forgiveness and love and forgiveness and love. We thank you for kingdom singles, God, the way they honor you, God, and everything that they do, God, and glorify you and everything that they do. And we give your name the glory for it now. And we give your name the honor. We thank you for our babies. We ask you to touch our children from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet. We ask you to heal. We ask you to deliver. We ask you to set free. Oh God, there's a little, there's a little something, something going on, going around God when it comes to, uh, you know, uh, viruses or whatever's going on. It's, 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 uh, whether it's this or whether it's that, we pray God that you'll just keep our babies and, and keep our children, God, right now in the name of Jesus and you'll, you'll heal them, God, and you'll heal them of the coughing and the fevers, God, and the, and the, and the whatever may be going on in their little bodies. We pray God that you'll just protect our babies and be with our children and we ask you God to keep them from all hurt, all harm, all danger, all incidents and accidents. Keep them from the wicked one. Keep them from the one that comes and want to devour and want to kill, want to steal and want to destroy. We pray, God, that you'll keep them from the molesters and keep them from the rapers and keep them from the abductors in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, that where you are, the one God is able to heal and you're the one that's able to deliver and you're the one that's able to set free. We thank you for doing it in the lives of our babies right now in the name of Jesus. You are Jehovah, Jehovah Shammah. You're the Lord that is there. You're present with our children, even when we're not present, even when we're not there. You're there for them, God, and we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. Goodness and mercy, God, follows them all the days of their life, and God, we thank you even when we can't communicate, even when we can't be there, even when, God, we can't get to the places where we can be able to put our hands on them. We thank you, God, that you are Jehovah Shammah, that you are there. We thank you, God, even in the life of, of our niece, in the life of Lady C's niece. We thank you for, 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 for her. She was missing and, and couldn't find her and, and, all, and we, and, and, and some were thinking the worst, but we thank you, God, that that situation is, 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 is reversed and that situation, God, it could have went another way, but we thank you for her safety and her preservation in the name of Jesus. And we give your name the glory. We give your name the honor and the praise, God, for what you're doing in Truth and Love Ministries. I pray, God, as we're approaching our eighth year, I pray, God, that, 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 that we'll close this year strong and, God, we'll hit the ground running, God, going into our eighth year. I pray, God, that you allow your people, allow this local church, God, oh, God, to continue to mature and continue to develop. I pray, God, that we'll get to the place, God, that where there's no room, God, for, 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 for foolishness and there's no room, God, for, for, for all of the drama and all of the bickering and all of the complaining and all of the things, God, that, 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 that has hindered us in the past. But God, we thank you, God, for a freshness. And we thank you, God, even as this year of elevation, God, that you've lifted us out of some of those habits and you lifted us, God, out of some of those places and lifted us out of some of those mindsets. We thank you, God, for our local church, God, because we're the only, we're our only hindrance. The enemy can't stop us. The devil can't stop us. We're our own hindrance. We pray that we'll get out of our way, God, as a local church, God, and we will, and we will we will work the word God and we will we will we will we will take advantage of the ministry opportunities that we have and God we'll be able to do what it is you called us to do. We thank you for truth and love ministry that the vision is coming to pass, that the vision is unfolding, and God we're seeing it right before our eyes that it's happening. And God, we're so excited about what it is that you're doing, and we're so excited about what it is, God, that you're going to do. And God, we just pray, God, that you'll just continue to allow your will and your plan and your purpose. Thank you, God, that we got facility enough. Thank you, God. 
God, that we got a place that's large enough, God, for all of our children's rooms, for our babies and our, and our, and our every step from the baby all the way up to high school. And, and oh God, we thank you that we got facility enough and we thank you we got functionality enough. We thank you, God, that we got enough facility, God, to be able to have, have all of our truth and love, to be able to come and to be able to worship together and to be able to serve together, God, and to be able to do what needs to be done. Thank you for facility enough. Thank you for the classrooms and, and thank you for the youth sanctuary and, and thank you, God, for us being able, God, to, to be able to have the places where individuals can come and, and the computer labs and, and the places for training and the places for the STEM programs and the, and the, and the skill programs and, and all of, and after school programs and, and thank you, God, that where we got the, the game room and the rec room and the, and the, and the, and the play room and the play areas and all of that. Thank you for facility enough. Thank you for the, for the place of where we can be able to feed people and, and, and feed people breakfast and lunch and dinner every day and, and thank you for, we got, we got facility enough and resources enough. Thank you, God, the division. That you've shown us, God, that you've given us, God, is coming to pass. And we give your name the glory for it. We thank you, God, for the resources enough. God, that we got everything that we need, God, as it relates to resources. Thank you, God, for, uh, for, for consistent tithers and consistent givers, God, that we're tithing and giving is two different things, God, that where we got individuals that consistently give you 10% of their income, 10% of what it is that they bring home, 10% of whatever that they make. God, we thank you for, for, for tithers. And, and not just individuals just give and just give you a tip here and there and throw you $20 and give you $50 and think we've done something. But no, we thank you for consistent tithers, God. And that's the only way we're going to be able to do what it is, God, that you assigned us to do, God, that where we can be consistent in giving, consistent in tithing, consistent in honoring you and what it is, God, that we're supposed to do. We give your name the glory for it. We give your name the honor. We give your name the praise. Last but certainly not least, I pray for my family. I pray, God, that you'll touch and continue to touch my family. Thank you for my wife. Thank you for Lady C. We ask you to continue to touch her and heal her and strengthen her. Thank you for her progression. Thank you, God, that she's getting stronger and stronger every day. Thank you, God, that you're healing her. God, from the inside out, we ask you to continue to do so. We ask you, God, to continue to give her the patience that she needs and the confidence that she needs. God, that she'll be the, the continue to be the woman of God that you desire for her to be. Thank you for her life and thank you for her impact and thank you for her love. Love and thank you for who it is that you that you created to be. Thank you for my children, Asharia and Kendall and Carson and C4. We ask you to be with them and keep them and strengthen them and don't allow the enemy to see your desire upon their lives. And we thank you for it, God, because we know that you're able to do anything but fail. And God, we give your name the glory. All of the requests and all of the people that are going through this and going through that. We thank you, God, the way you know what we need and you know how much we need and you know when we need it. So, God, we thank you for this is the confidence that we have in you. If we ask anything according to your will, God, you said we can have it. And it's in Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. 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 I love you guys. I thank God for you. I got to wrap this thing up. I, I left my water somewhere and I feel like I'm in the Sahara Desert. <laughs> it's something about prayer. Prayer prayer is it's taxing on the body. It is taxing on the body. If, to all my prayer warriors, I know exactly what it is I'm talking about. It just does something to you when you empty yourself and when, you, when you're interceding and when you're warring. It does something to you physically. It also does something to you spiritually. Uh, so, man, I, I solicit your prayers often. I just don't say that just to say that. I say that because I know what it is that we're doing. We are we are a kingdom-focused ministry. And if we're a kingdom-focused ministry, that means that we're advancing God's kingdom. If we're advancing God's kingdom, that means that we're tearing down the kingdom of darkness. That means that we're assaulting and we're attacking the kingdom of the devil. And you cannot assault and you cannot attack the kingdom of the devil. And he likes it and sits back and doesn't let doesn't do anything. But no, he retaliates. He responds. And in fact, he's proactive. He tries to get us first. So, and for, so for our entire ministry, keep our entire ministry in prayer. Uh, that God will keep us because we're a kingdom focused ministry, but then also for the leaders of the ministry, since we're the tip of the spear, we're the thing that's piercing the darkness. We're leading the charge, man, for sure. If the devil after you, and if you got trouble <laughs> issues, you can only imagine. You can only imagine. <laughs> Pull up a chair and let me and let me tell you for a second. You can only imagine. So just pray, just pray. Don't feel sorry for me. Just pray that God will keep me holy. God will keep me hungry. God will keep me humble. Just pray for me that I'll be who it is that God is for me and pray for my entire family that God will keep us. So 
I'm just saying that to say when it comes down to this spiritual warfare, if somebody's praying for you, interceding for you, you definitely got to keep them in prayer because you know the enemy is after them. So I love y'all. I thank God for you. I appreciate you. Make sure you post on group me and encourage others. Let them know, man, we have a culture of prayer. Man, I need you to make your way to the house of the Lord tonight as our first Wednesday service. We try not to be in there all night long. Sometimes the worship just get good to us and the word just get good to us. But, man, we're trying to be intentional. Uh, make sure we get you in and get you out. Uh, but make your way to the house of the Lord. We're going to be um, continuing our series as we're talking about this uh, whole, uh, these, seven la these seven churches uh, that Jesus spoke to. Um, tonight we're going to be ministering about the, about the church of, it slips my mind just that fast, but I know the, 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 the topic is, is not looking good as we're talking about the church of Sardis, the church of Sardis. Uh, so it's going to be good. It's going to be really, really good. It's in, it's, it's a, it's a direct word, but it's, it's also encouraging. So I encourage you to come out tonight. Um, if you, if you, if you're working or you can't make it out, of course, tune in. But I encourage you. We only have one service a month, you all, in the evening. One service a month. I think we all can make a concerted effort to make our way to the house of the Lord. So let's do that. That's the only announcement I got for you. I need you to make your way to the house of the Lord tonight so we can worship together and we can get in this word together. I love y'all. I thank God for you. I appreciate you. Here come to church. Bye-bye.